Why, hello there, my peeps. It's Mama Bear coming back at you again. This is Sunday, two days after Thanksgiving, and I always get my cord all caught up on everything. Two days after Thanksgiving, got to go back to work tomorrow. Ugh. I just, I if, if I could retire tomorrow, I would have... I would not be bored. Let's just put it that way. Because <laughs> I have so much stuff that I can do. I have my hobbies. I like to crochet. and I'm learning how to knit. Of course, I like doing these videos. Um, I like to um, I like to hike. You know, walk trails. Um, I can walk my dogs. I have so much I can do. You know, and that doesn't even count the outings like like I said like hiking or um like it's the holiday season driving around town looking at all the Christmas lights and all that <laughs> I could fill my days I tell you what these past four days have went like that It's my Christmas coffee cup. I bought that from Tractor Supply last year or year before last. I don't remember. Merry and bright. Got my coffee. That's my second cup of the day. I'm also drinking water. And that's cold. I put some um, flavoring in it. This one's strawberry watermelon. All I put in flavoring in it. Now in the summertime, pardon me, sorry, I came one out of the, the uh, camera. Um, the summertime, again, I gotta fix my stuff. The summertime, I like putting fresh fruits in in um, in my water. And vegetables like cucumbers and fresh strawberries and, and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I finished, um, I think it's the last Christmas present I was making. I um, just finished it this morning. It's back there on that chair. Um, I got to put it up in the closet with the rest of them. I think... I am done except for just a few odds and ends, you know, but I think I'm done so I can concentrate on getting stuff for Christmas dinner. Um, yeah, I think I'm done with Christmas. I have to go through what I have up in there and find out for sure, but I think I'm done, done with that. Um, yeah, with those Christmas done, then I can I can finally, I have to make sure though, I can sit back and <laughs> maybe chill a little bit. Oh, I did, um, oh, I meant to open it before I started this. I did, I started um, recording, I started playing Red Dead Redemption 2 over again from the very beginning and I'm recording it. I'm doing a game playthrough. Um, it's I'm including in the playthrough um, missions and as many side missions as possible and um, a lot of the the little um, I don't know if they're called missions, but the little they pop up as like, like little question marks on the map. Just little things that pop up here and there. I'm trying to include all of that in there. It's I'm not going to include, or I might include um, maps on it. Um, I'm not including trying to find all the animals. 
Um, I'm not going to include find, trying to find all the trinkets and everything. I'm just strictly doing a um, game playthrough, which includes missions. I started that Friday evening, and I'm not even done with Chapter 2. Um, and it's going to be broken down into parts, different parts. I was going to do... Um, chapter segments. I think there's like six or seven chapters in the game, but <laughs> the second chapter is already at six hours, so I'm like, I might just do like hour segments. I don't know, but I've started that. I'm going to try to put out, once I'm done with the game, I'm going to put out a video a week on that. I also... And my sons kind of talked me into this. I have so many windows open. Let me open up my... No, it's not my Steam. It's this. I also downloaded the game The Backrooms 1998 um, found, found footage backroom survival horror game. <laughs> so I have not worked up the courage to start playing that game. I'm not going to play that game until I'm ready to record it because I don't want to know what's coming in the game. My sons, especially my oldest boy, talked me into um, doing this and he said to record it because he has seen some of my reactions on the uh, surprises, like bear surprises and stuff on Red Dead Redemption 2. And he's like, Mom... You're gonna be a, you're gonna be a hit on YouTube, doing a horror thing. So, like I said, I haven't worked up my courage to do it because I don't do horror. I can go to a haunted house as long as it's not too bad. <laughs> but as far as watching horror movies, I just can't do it. At horror games, I just get. When I'm watching a horror movie or a horror game, I just get so tense, you know, and I just, and my reaction is, well, I know my reaction is priceless. It jump scares, and I did watch a little bit of another YouTuber playing this game, <laughs> and, and I wasn't even playing the game, and I am, I, it, let's just say, It was, it, it, it's going to be funny. I have to work up the courage to do that because it's, I know, <laughs> I'll probably have to literally buy depends because I'll probably wet myself a few times. But yeah, I haven't worked up the courage for that, but I am going to um, record that and post them up, post that up. Um been thinking about doing watching some some paranormal videos um i kind of like watching those kind of things and debunking them because i have this i lived in a house that was haunted and i know the things that happened in this house that i lived in and some of the stuff on these paranormal videos that i watch yeah, it's pretty much the norm of what I see. It's just, it, let's just say, it doesn't seem real. So I might start watching Paranormal. Um, I could start that game I was telling you about, that back, back doors, whatever it was. I was thinking when I was watching that video last night of just doing the re my reaction to watching people do those videos but yeah I'm just playing around with different stuff thinking about things I need more subscribers I need subscribers please 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 subscribe <laughs> and please share Please. 
I need more subscribers because but when I retire in six years I want YouTube my YouTube and my Etsy and I'm gonna be doing eBay I think it's eBay those three I want to supplement my income my retirement you know YouTube when I retires, I'm going to be real busy with YouTube when I retire because I'm going to be doing all that traveling. I'll be I have all kinds of film footage, film footage and everything. So, yeah. I need subscribers. I want to, by the time I retire in 6 years, I want to be set on YouTube and on Etsy and on eBay. I want to be I want to be you know settled in those three things so that I don't have to bust my butt <laughs> trying to make it work I want it already rolling trying to think ahead whoops I'm tearing stuff up it is as you can tell the sun is out today I can see up in my little thing up there everything's all bright in here today the sun is out I don't even know what the temperature is let me look real quick. I saw something pop up on my thing about weather. Weather storms or something. Come on. It's 53 degrees out. Real feel is 57. Ugh. I hate these apps. And I refuse to pay, pay in here to remove ads. But the ads irritate me. High today is 57. Um, I thought I saw something about, oh, it's going to be 76 on Tuesday. A heat wave, a tropical heat wave. I don't see any storms. A week from Friday, I see is rain. Of course, it could change. Here in Texas, you don't like the weather? Wait an hour. guess I could look on there and see if about storms. I keep seeing stuff about storms. What's new? How are your forecasts? Yeah. I use AccuWeather. A lot of people use the Weather Channel app, but I use AccuWeather. It's the Weather Channel's good, but they the Weather Channel is usually abroad. It does it like almost nationally. And this one here, I guess, does too, but I can narrow this one down easier, narrow this one down to my zip code easier than I can with um, the Weather Channel app. I think I'm hungry. I just hurt my tummy ground. The wind, the got the fan blowing, and it keeps blowing my hair around back here and tickling my scalp. I guess I could turn it off. I got both my fans going. Yeah, even when it's cold out and it's like 66 degrees in here, i am still got my fans blowing. Gotta have the air circulating. <sighs> I'm gonna start. I got, oh, I got the plug. I think in my last video, I think it was my last video, I was telling you that um, I was gonna start sewing my clothes and, and stuff. Well, I've been saying that sewing my clothes and I got sheets and stuff I'm going to cut one inch strips into and then you know sew the ends together and then start crocheting uh, rag rugs out of those well but I couldn't because I didn't have the right cord for my sewing machine well it came in Friday afternoon and I plugged it in and it works but I hadn't started a song because I wanted to finish all, all the Christmas, my Christmas stuff. Um, for um, immediate family. Um, I'm not doing, it's been a hard year, so I'm not doing, I used to, every year I do, not only for my immediate family, but I send out for, you know, other family like um, aunts and uncles and stuff like that. But I just can't do it this year. So it's just immediate family. And then I forgot where I was going with that. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I wasn't going to start sewing. 
until I get done with that, so I'm done with that. So today I'm going to start um, cutting my sheets so that I can get all those, well, it's going to take a while, i ordering a um, this tool from Amazon that can um, cut uh, material into it goes up to one and a quarter or one and a half inch strips down to quarter inch strips but it can it's this tool that you just pull the material through and it cuts it for you at that at that width so I'm gonna get that ordered and then start cutting the sheets down into my one inch strips one inch strips and then um, start doing the rag rugs. Um, I think I'm going to put them up for sale on my Etsy account um, because those should be fairly easy to make. They should go real quick. And then I'm going to start cutting the patterns for my clothes. I got some really cool um, pants and stuff I want to start making. Yep. That's my plan. Be self-sufficient. I don't want to have to buy my clothes at the store anymore. When I retire and I finally get my property, I'm going to be very self-sufficient. I already know how to garden. I want to be self-sufficient when I retire and find my property, grow my own vegetables and can and all that. I have talked for 19 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And we're going to, uh, we're just going to call it quits because I can't believe I've talked so, so much today. <laughs> anyway, this is Mama Bear. I'm going to sign out of here. Y'all live fierce. Be happy. Stay safe. Bye.